This is your technical update from the LMAX Exchange Research and Analytics Desk for Tuesday, April 12th, 2016. Euro dollar. So right now the euro is consolidating off recent 2016 highs, but it's unclear where the market wants to head next, with the market confined to a consolidation over the past several sessions. At this point, a break above last week's 1454-2016 peak would open fresh upside towards critical psychological barriers at 115 further up, while inability to take out 1454 followed by a break back below 113.27 would open the door for renewed downside and suggest that the market is putting in some form of a top. So again, key levels to watch above and below right now come in at 114.54 above and 113.27 below. Sterling dollar. So cable has seen a nice little bounce out from recent trade, uh, recent lows out just shy of 140, with the market potentially looking like it wants to carve out some form of a bit of a bottom. But overall, this rally shouldn't be thought of as any more than some sort of short-term correction, as the downside pressure remains intact, and the market should be very well capped once again into the rally in favor of the next downside extension below 140.05, and towards a retest of that recent seven-year low at 138.36 further down. At at this point, only back above 145.15 would really take the immediate pressure off the downside. Dollar yen. So dollar yen continues to be under pressure with the market trading down to fresh 2016 low on Monday. At this point, there is risk for deeper setbacks towards a measured move downside extension in the 106.50 area. However, any rally should be very well capped if we do see any towards some previous support and outturn resistance in the 110.67 area. Euro Swiss. So Euro Swiss continues to be very well supported on dips towards 108, with the broader recovery structure still intact. At this point, a break back above 110.24 will strengthen the outlook and accelerate gains towards a retest of the multi-month high at 112 further up. Aussie dollar. So Aussie dollar has been consolidating off recent 2016 highs, and at this point it's difficult to determine whether the market's looking to carve some form of a top up here, potentially even a head and shoulders top, ahead of the next major downside extension, or if the market's looking for a bullish consolidation ahead of the next major upside extension beyond 77.23 and towards next key medium term resistance at 78.50 further up. So 77.23 above and 74.77 below are the key levels to watch. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD is showing signs of a potential base, but the market's going to need to hold above that 2830 to 2858 area to confirm and open the door for fresh upside in the sessions ahead. At this point, to break below that recent 2016 low at 2858 would expose a direct retest of the 2000, the October 15, 2015 base at 12832 further down. But again, if the market can hold on to its and establish a close and hold on above 128.58 on a close basis or even 128.30 on a close basis, there is risk for another bounce. A break back above 132.96, however, will ultimately be required to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi setbacks have once again been supported. Though overall, the market has found some formidable resistance up above 69 and towards 70. So look for this rally once again to stall out ahead of that medium term resistance in the 70 area in favor of the next major downside extension. But a break and close back below 67.59 will be required to confirm and officially put the pressure back on the downside. SPX 500. So the S&P 500 is showing signs of the potential formation of a major lower top now in 2016 around the 12080 area below that record high from 2015. But to strengthen this outlook, the market will need to establish back below recent lows that were set back on the 24th of March of 2021 to accelerate again and strengthen this outlook back towards the recent multi-month low from February at 1808. Gold. So gold continues to retain its constructive outlook with the market consolidating but in bullish fashion ahead of what should be the next major upside extension over the coming sessions beyond the recent 2016 peak around 1284 and towards the January, the January 2015 peak, that's the 2015 high from January at 1307 further up. At this point, setback should be very well supported with only a break back below 1190 to compromise the constructive outlook for gold.